already immediately into this first game here. What the? Three, two, one, I think I got the. That's right. For some reason, I was really confused. But here we go. Inkling versus Maya. Uh, what is this? Okay, no button check needed here. To get straight into the match. Yeah. Oh. Drops the ink bomb or the splat bomb on the ink pressure. Uh, that's when it's still laying on the pressure. The shield's getting a little small, actually. I'm pretty sure that was just from him holding it. Interesting, interesting game plan here. Ooh, okay, punishes the downer with up smash out of shield. But, uh, Fate strikes back with a big up air combo. Chases him. Ooh, okay, crossing with the shield there is not gonna work out too well since Bandita has all these fast first options here. Oh! Big one for, or SUP going for some eventual options here, so he's trying to bait and punish the uh, attacks. Oh wow, okay. Gets the stage fight, but it's Spain NSO, so he'll be able to make it back. SUP's shield's getting real small, but he gets the roller read, and Fate's not able to mash out in time, taking that first dog. Turning it around pretty much, he was at a percent deficit the whole time. Going for the hard read at zero. Don't know if that was a miss input or something. What's going on here? But I say he's trying to control a lot of space with these splat attacks, splat bomb, etc. Oh, the parry! He tries to punish the back here, but it's too well spaced, so he actually gets wave punish for it. Yeah. It only has 0.3% on it. Oh, 0.7 actually. Wow. It's SVP's game plan here. Hold on, what is this? It looks like he wanted to try something, but realized he probably wouldn't kill. And opted to go for just some more damage anyways. Because, uh... Yeah, fair one after Murder King. Which is definitely more damage than, uh, just a fair. Hold on, here we go, more damage coming out. It's gonna be just a little while unless he gets a hard read, but... This is still a great lead for Fade right now. Actually, we're seeing a speed from a lot of fairs out. He wants to catch these jumps. He wants to catch these, uh, catch these afterburn hits with his, with his forward air. I, I don't know if he combos it, but that's the option he's going for right now. And it's not really getting him too much right now. So. Alright, we got a situation here where interesting, interestingly, he exhausted all of his ink. I think a mix-up would have been to just like stop right before. Okay, we're seeing a lot of weird options here. Right now. If he wants to play this patiently, he does not want to get caught out and killed here. Wow, is that gonna be it? No, great DI from uh, from Fade there. It's huge right now. Link can just get an attack off, but the nice. But the, Whiff punish out from Fade there is going to take that stock. Yeah, three minutes left on the timer here. The players, they're playing very patiently, they want to get like, you know, caught out and something stupid and take a million damage for it. That goes both ways for everybody in uh, Band of the Hero. Oh, hold on! Nah. Okay, catching the neutral getup with a up smash. Water shot come out a lot here. Wow, okay. I guess he was predicting that high recovery. That was nice. Right? That's the first game.
Dash attack clank. Looks like they were both going the same option here. Finally gets a roller read there and ends up taking this on too much. Oh, okay. Oh, nice continue to weave his way around here. Looks like he's kind of just trying to take things slow. Really going on. Uh, oh, here we go. Nice little roll read there. Get some jab damage on him. Get it some ink going. Finally, we're seeing some action. Huge 42% off of two jabs. Looks like, yeah. Looks like SVP really doesn't want to play a, a grounded game here. Um, doesn't want to go into the air and try to take on something special. It's a nice voice, or no, nice parry. Cool. Alright, gets a ledge trump, but nothing comes out of it. charge things up he's gonna be so he finally gets loses his second stock back all on ink and now F8 is at 116% you do know however that he'll easily be able to take that back oh the whiffed back air unfortunately gonna get punished I the up smash
Okay, on the game three. Seeing more of some standard stuff here. But looks like Sis really does want to play a grounded game here. I don't know. I'm going to try to throw out a lot of attacks here. Looking for a lot of defensive stuff. Just weaving his way in and out, looking for an opening. His tech. Okay, we got some big damage coming out from the up throw up here, up here. Ooh, unfortunately, he was facing the wrong way for that jab, otherwise, he would have caught that. Got some big damage going. Forward air catching up the jump. That's <laughs> fate just tacking on even more damage here. But uh forward throw he is at ledge not quite at 150. And now it's staled once. He's gonna need a, a little bit more going for him. He's been holding shield a lot. He doesn't want to get caught with anything uh, too dramatic right now. But what is his game plan here? Oh, that no back throw is not gonna take it either. As he's now at ledge, 180% shield poke with the forward air. Will we see anything happen here as Fade tries to find his way off the platform? But such patient play coming up from SVP. Ooh, the raw up smash. Notice uh, SVP was dashing around a lot. Fade just get that big punish with that humongous up smash hitbox. Alright. Ooh, okay, that's weird. The splatter shot kind of just went through his model <laughs> without actually hitting him. Weird little animation thing. the gentleman. Actually, the down tilt's gonna beat out the rolling box. I'm surprised. I guess it was, uh, the distance was just right there. Oh, okay. Dash Knight didn't stop the splatter shot. Another surprising interaction. This is SP is completely out of ink here. So he's looking for a grab here. Yeah, he's going for these hard, hard reads for some reason. He doesn't want to accumulate any more percentage. Deal more percentage. He's just looking for these kill options. Forward air almost taking it, almost. Very surprising. He's just running up and holding shield, waiting for an option, waiting for an opportunity to get in there and do huge damage. Fade with the calculated back air. Realizing that SUP is throwing out these hitboxes. Okay. I guess he wasn't expecting the bomb explosion. He's gonna take another one straight to the face. Let's see if this third one makes its way over. Not quite. And now SUP is gonna end up taking a lot of damage here. Sour spot of the fair, not gonna kill, obviously. Ooh, okay, hold on. Back throw is gonna kill. Almost center stage with that dash grab. Okay. Unable to punish that forward air hitbox. Off the parry. Oh, ooh, interesting. SVP with the just dashing around here. He's, he doesn't want to get caught by another Bayo combo. Ooh, 
Ooh, up tilt. Alright, not exactly that. It's starting to throw out a lot more hitboxes here. I'm seeing, ooh, barely avoids that back air. I don't know if that would have killed. It probably might have. Up throw, forward air, okay. We've reached the two minute mark. Fade just trying to find his way off of this platform here. Doesn't really doesn't want to make a mistake here. Take a roller to the face and lose. Oh, but the huge explosion hitbox. Ooh, no tech chase reaction coming out from SVP. He's kind of just waiting for the roll in, but nothing happened. And the up throw up air. Not gonna take it. He missed that golden window now. Now he's gonna do things. Have to do things the hard way. As the backer comes out, almost taking the stock. Players playing very carefully there. Forward air! He's gonna take the game, SVP. Goes up 2-1. It's me.